Go ahead, sweetheart. Tell us. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ashante Gleason. I'm a junior major in history at Southern University, and I attended the Board of Regents uh, meeting two weeks ago to speak about the 1972 Smith-Brown case um, that led to the deaths of Leonard Smith and Denver Brown. So there uh, was a, a case where students at Southern University were permanently banned for life from the university for participating in the protest. This protest was an act to bring more resources and betterment for the university. Uh, the students were doing nothing but demanding. There was a list of 102 demands to better this university. So what they were doing was protesting for a month straight. Um, the, the university was sending them to prison and some of the students that um, were participating in it eventually were banned from the university. So um, the NAACP at Southern University demanded that the Board of Regents and Supervisors lift the ban of those students. And we were voted in favor. So all of the students that were participating in those protests in 1972 are now welcome back onto our campus and will be on our campus on November 16th to celebrate and commemorate the, the lives of Leonard Brown and Denver Smith. That, 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 that is excellent. So tell us a little bit more about some of the events that will be occurring as it relates to them returning. Yeah, so we're gonna we're planning right now to do like a just like a connect the dots and bridge the gap meeting with them. So we're gonna have a town hall for students to speak to our board of supervisors and the president on campus to address some of the concerns that we have about Southern University right now, almost in the same way that they wanted to do in 1972. And we're gonna have our alumni come in and some of the students that were students at the time of the protest to come in and listen to the concerns that we have as well, because we know that alumni are just as powerful as the students on campus and those voices could be heard alongside of ours. So we wanna kind of to bridge the gap between family of past and present uh, students at the university to better this institution all overall. So we're going to have some uh, a pilgrimage from the, the Smith Brown Union to the actual place where the shooting of Smith and Brown were um, to commemorate their lives. Um, and then there's going to be a reveal of some sort. I'm not sure what exactly it will be, um, but the, the law center is planning some type of reveal um, of to commemorate the uh, two students um, in, a, in a addition to the union that we have on campus. Um, there's also going to be a walk downtown as well um, to commemorate the two lives, but there will be information posted on social media, around school, um, sent through emails to inform everyone about the events, but they'll be happening on November 16th, 2022. Hey, I want to commend you for your efforts. We need more students like you who are striving to remove the layers and teach the true legacy and events that have occurred and the people whose shoulders we stand on and those who have allowed us to be in the position that we are in today and benefit from what we have now. I want to also say this is my former student, so I'm going to put her on the spot. Can you tell me one thing you learned from my class? I know it was a year ago. Can you remember one thing that'll make me feel real good? Well, I can actually remember a lot. Like oh, okay, class. okay. Let me, let me tell you one thing. Okay. Mr. Smith. What tell me too? Johnson. The one thing that that stood out to me about your class was this case. I wouldn't have learned about it at all. I just walked in the union, didn't know anything about it. I didn't know what who Smith and Brown were. Even with the, like, you know, there's a little like area where they explain it. I wouldn't have never did my actual research on it if I didn't get into your class. I also learned about those those various sites that's on campus. I didn't know who they were. I didn't know who the people. I actually started paying attention more to the names of our buildings. So I started doing more personal research because of at the beginning of the class, before we even got into like the content of Western civilization, you informed us that there's history on our campus that we we go untouched. Um, so I think that the main thing that I learned in your class was to bring more awareness to my surrounding and then the history that surrounds me. Um, Cause I just, I used to just come on campus blindly and, and not knowing how rich this history is on campus. So I learned about that. Um, and that's the, that's the biggest thing I learned. I learned a multitude of things, but um, I definitely learned more about Southern University in your class. And, it, and the class wasn't even like driven about Southern University's history. But you, the way that you introduced the, the the subject of Southern University made the class feel more personable and it made it feel like it's more, I have more ownership of the class as well. So I learned about that. Um, and I also started, I learned about more of like what it means to be black in that class. Yes. What it means to be black, you know? So I, cause I, I never, never really thought about like the, I forgot what the exact name of what we were talking about. I think it was the race synopsis. Uh, the myth of race and the, the evolution of, of skin yes, color. That, that was like, actually, I'm like, 
I, I would have never thought of that. I I'm a history major. So like I, that was my first time like hearing some history that was like, oh, I don't know this. Like, I, and I felt like the class made me feel more vulnerable and acceptable to ask you questions um, and learn more about who I am as a person, as a black woman, um, and as a black person, period. Hey, I, I am totally impressed. I am glad I was able to impart and do my part with your matriculation here to Southern University. And I wish you the best. And I'm very proud of you. You need anything from me, let me know. And I definitely want to participate in the Smith-Brown deal. Go Jaguars. Thank you. Thank you.